Good morning, my little Indian girl. Are you ready to go out in the cold? Yes. Yes? Okay. okay. Hi, my little American boy. This kid will do anything for attention. This kid too. This crazy maniac. This little guy? Yeah. He's a crazy maniac. He's a crazy maniac? Yeah. Here, put this on this. Okay. Gotta bundle up, man. Gotta cover that head. Oh, wow. Yeah, the river did ice up. Way out here in the middle, it, even though not all of it's white, it is iced up nicely. Wow, I've just never seen this here. It's beautiful. I love ice. I love our cabin too, buddy. You ready to go get some breakfast? Yay! We're gonna head out and get some breakfast. Heading into Pigeon Forge. We've got a place we wanna try. Mommy's doing daddy a favor this morning and uh, taking care of the scraping for me. 14 degrees out, and um, there's definitely a wind chill factor of more than that, but uh, it's not, not as bad as it could have been this morning. You wanna talk about how you actually like doing that? It was really fun for me to do that. <laughs> Mel Melanie actually... <laughs> I like it a lot. I said you were doing me a favor, but mom actually no, like loves scraping yes. the windshield. I don't know, it's like therapeutic or something. You used to do that in Campbellsville. In Campbellsville? Mm -hmm. and, and when we were first dating, the first semester she was away in Campbellsville. Um, oh, the ice was like this. It, yeah, thick. it was crazy winter and she would call me and tell me how <laughs> she, she liked <laughs> scraping the windshields. Yeah, like um, and I was a Florida boy and at that point I'd never even seen snow. I didn't know what a good scraper was. <laughs> I didn't know what, what, why no, did you have to scrape joke, your windows? Low joke, know. the first time we were together and I forgot the scraper and we weren't anticipating this, um, he was using a spatula, no <laughs> lie, a spatula, like when a hamburger that? flipper. When was this? Remember. Oh man, that sounds awful, but it, it does sound it like was. something yes, I would was. have to do. To do. It was, I don't remember where it was though. It was in a Louisville, Kentucky. We had a really massive snowstorm that's what it is and the, the ice was so thick it was ridiculous Anyways. we were going around and previewing touring seminaries for my doctoral degree and from and um on the way from wake forest north carolina to louisville kentucky we spun out on the road we hit black, black ice, ice and our this whole suv spun started spinning more than once i just took my hand off I freaked out, and when it stopped, we were in reverse. It's, <laughs> it's, it's like planes, trains, and automobiles mm -hmm. type stuff. Yes. It, we we thought we were gonna go backwards off the road, and we did. Oh we were going backwards, but we weren't going in the direction of the road anymore. We were going backwards, going off the road, and luckily, when we were going slow enough by that point, that as soon as we started to go off the road, our tires hit snow and stopped the truck. Otherwise, we thought we were going who knows where, because we didn't know, you don't know if you're next to a river, you don't know if you're next to an embankment. Being an ignorant Florida boy, I made the dumb decision to pass the salt truck. The salt truck was driving like five miles an hour, and I was like, I don't need him, I'm fine, we're fine. I even said, stay behind the salt truck. And when my sister, when I told my sister later about this, she goes, you never pass the salt truck. <laughs> and I, I never will again, ever. Ever. That was that was a scary, that scary really night. Bad. And then we got to we got to Louisville, and like six inches of, of snow on the ground. Snow everywhere. everywhere. That was probably my first adult experience with snow. And uh, come to find out, I had holes in my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. Are you I did. I had this pair of dress shoes. Ridiculous. This ratty pair of dress shoes. You know, we didn't have a lot of money at the time. I didn't want to replace them. I was just toughing it out. There was a hole in the sole of this pair of shoes and my feet were numb. I was like, why are my feet so cold? I must have bad circulation. Nope, nope, hole in my shoes. Funny random stories this morning from our past travels. We love traveling. And this is the yeah, reason, this is the reason right here. Funny stories memories something about traveling really makes your mind pay attention to life and it helps break up the monotony of of your your day-to-day -day, your week-to-week 
and it gives you it's like a it's like a marker at a point in time where you remember how old your kids were you remember where you were in life you remember what job you were working at at the time we just love traveling so much if we could do it full time we would we're gonna try uh, Sawyer's farmhouse restaurant they had great reviews good breakfast come on guys let's go breakfast time your tummy rumbled yeah well, let's go take care of that whoa well, Elvis is here, so that's a good sign. No, it's not. Why don't you talk us through this? So this is what we have for breakfast. I don't like stuff on top of my pancakes. I like to dip them, so that's why I have three of these. Yep. And everybody basically pancakes. got pancakes. And pancakes. Logan got chocolate. chocolate. Wait, mommy, can I have that cream? And Barbie, he got peanut butter syrup. Peanut, peanut butter, butter syrup. syrup. We'll see how that is. Oh, and then uh, I got a Belgian off with bacon. That's it. And more bacon. And and more bacon. Mm. Look at that, Timmy. You gonna eat all that? Yeah. <laughs> you can't even fit it in your mouth. Eat it. Eat it. <laughs> Put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. Ew, ew. Oh no. <laughs> you didn't make that picture. Yeah, well, I got video of it. It's even better. And it likes mommy and daddy's wedding day. <laughs> you missed his mouth. Ew, don't eat it. So we got some breakfast. It was very good. Uh, we can add that place to our list of usual spots here in Pigeon Forge that we like to eat. And we're gonna go shopping right now for the cabin. One of the one of the things we deal with usually is um, upkeep. There's things that break. There's a lot of wear and tear in owning a rental property. So we need to go replace some things and look around for some items we've been wanting to add to the to the place, like table runners, a microwave cart, things things like that that you just buy over time for your property. So we're gonna head to a place called Old Time Pottery to do some of that shopping. If you live in the American Southeast, you probably have heard of Old Time Pottery. Not Pottery Barn, Old Time Pottery. It's kind of like what a Ross is to clothing or a TJ Maxx is to clothing, this is to decor. They get over overstock decor from a lot of other places and um, it's like a huge warehouse type building that you can really shop for anything for uh, your home. It's really, it's really neat. So we're gonna go. Th What's he doing? What are you doing, Tim? Just laying you. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna go uh, shop now a little bit, and then we have some other plans later on. So the kids will just love shopping. They should be super, super well behaved in the store, right, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for being honest, Caleb. That was a truly introspective and honest answer. You having trouble? Of course not. Baby Yeah. 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 We got a comment on one of Caleb's jokes today on YouTube, and it's from the Creer family. Everyone say hello, Creer family. Hello, Creer family. Hey, that, that's you. You're in the video. Oh, Hi, Creer I'm family. Sorry. Hey. <laughs> I Take two. Up. Hi. No, I, yes, you see this in him. That it's like a cube. It makes it's weird. It's like a video game. I don't know. I'm so out of it. Hi, Creer Hi. family. <laughs> We're gonna tell Caleb your joke and then record it. Caleb. The Creer family has a joke for you. Ready? Where does Napoleon keep his sleep? Oh wait, I'm, I'm, I'm messing it up. Where does Napoleon keep his armies? I don't know. In his sleeveys. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Arms in his sleeves, armies in his sleeveys. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, thank you. We're gonna be a little more conservative than that. That guy just dove head first down into the water. Oh. Gosh, that's crazy. They're walking on that ice, man. Wow. You guys want to come down? Yeah. Slowly, slowly. slowly. Follow mom. Slowly, slowly. Yeah. Mom's going to help you down. We're going to go see yeah. the river up close. Stand on some ice. Don't pull me. <laughs> Without falling through, hopefully. Ready, Katie? Come on. 
Come on, baby. <clears throat> Follow Timmy. Follow Tim. Nice and slow. Ooh. Don't go far, please. Timmy, Logan, that's too far. Too far. This is this is solid, oh, man. This is solid, walkable ice. <laughs> Careful! <laughs> Nobody fall. I it's, it's, Caleb, feel how slippery it is. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Okay, that's a pit, that's a pit, that's a pit. Whoa, and it's slippery. And they were walking on it way out there. Far out. It is frozen solid. <laughs> I am a Where's your gloves? Put your hands in your pockets. Hands in your pockets. Yes. Whoa! Oh. Do it again. Do it. Do another one. Ah. Katie, be careful. Whoa! <laughs> Don't hit anybody. I'm getting the hang of it. You're getting the hang of it? Are you slipping? Is this a tradition for you all? No. No? Is this, a, birthday, this is a, so. this the first time you've ever done that? Yes. Wow, happy birthday. That's amazing. Okay. It makes me feel better than a doctor did. <laughs> you don't fall with You slipping? Careful, careful. Whoa! Careful, careful. <laughs> Slow, slow, slow. We don't want to bust our butt here. Guys, we get big chunks of ice and skate on them. It's, Ooh, it's cold. Fun. Cold, 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 cold. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> you can't get up. <laughs> Careful. Careful. Careful, Slippy Sue. I found a big one. Throw it. Whoa. <laughs> It goes spinning all the way out. Daddy. Yes. Yes. Oops. Careful. Whoa, Logan took a tumble. Logan, you all right? Whoa. We're going we're gonna to have to go get warm soon. It's cold out here. Yeah. We're here at the Trailhead Steak and Trout House, Townsend, Tennessee. We love this place. And the kids uh, wanted to get in this uh, big old fashioned carriage they have out front. Thing. Caleb, show, show me your best country bear what? impersonation. Mm. No, you can't pretend to be the horse. No pretending to be the horse. You can get in the carriage, but that's it. Come on. <laughs> Say yee-haw. <laughs> you got to go yee-haw. <laughs> you guys ready to go to the cabin it's freezing out here no way, okay. no way okay mommy and I are gonna go to the cabin we'll see you later no! Yeah. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. <laughs>